we're still discussing it. We're having meetings about our <laughs> setting our roster. Um, still haven't decided game two, game three starter yet also. So Burns is starting tomorrow, and then we're going to continue to meet about the 26 guys we're going to put on the roster. Uh, we're going to keep talking about it today. It could, yeah. Um, kind of you just given going through every scenario, just kind of covering all the bases on it, and, and uh, um, you know, seeing how a little bit how game one goes, how deep Bernsey goes, all that, all those type of things. Uh, Brandon, are you are you happy with the composition right now of the of what? I'm sorry, Rich. Of the ball, of, of the ball ten and the options that you have. Yeah, I think you know it's. We have a lot of good stuff down there, and I think the, we have guys that can do. I can put in different roles, um, you know, without kind of having set roles down there. Uh, I can try to mix and match the best way I possibly can. Um, you know, this is a really good, really really good team. It's a really good lineup. Um, you know, we're looking more into it, but it's. I'm happy with. Really happy with how we played on this last road trip, and how, how happy we, I, I'm really happy with how we threw the ball. Um, but I do have a lot of options down there. Well, they're all a little bit different, so um, it's not lefties with all the with, with similar stuff. Everybody, all four guys, kind of bring a little something different to the table, and. Um, uh, I like that. I like I like to have different options, and and uh, you know certain guys get more lefties out than righties, etc. So the more guys you can have like that, like that, that uh, make it tough on opposing manager. That's uh, that's ideal. Yeah. Yeah. So Danny, you know, got his feet wet a little bit, getting getting in a few games, um, continuing to feel good, continuing to feel healthy. Uh, you know, Danny's unique, and he's got unique breaking balls, and so the ability to get lefties and righties out is really important. I just think the experience of it, you know, the experience for these guys of playing in this type of stage, um, this many people that are going to be here, we're excited to play in front of our home fans. Uh, There's going to be a lot of energy in the ballpark, and it's just another, you know, for – a lot of our guys hadn't played in postseasons, uh, you know, before last year, and to have that experience is going to be, you know, it's gonna, I think it's going to work out well. Brandon, closing out games, who do you see, or is it more matchups as to whether you go with strictly Soto or you mix it? It's kind of however I get there a little bit, and that's kind of what. I, yeah, hope you know we get you know try to piece it together, and then who, and then try to match up whether you know seventh, eighth, and ninth inning how we see fit. Um, I thought we did a pretty good job of that in the road trip, and and uh, you know a lot of trust in a lot of those guys. You know, Sir Anthony's pitched in big games in postseasons, had nine to ten of saves for us. Soto's been a closer. You know, CNL's got really really good stuff, and and yeah, he's got that sinker. So there's uh, there's some options down there, and Keegan Aikens had a great year. You look at Keegan Aikens' body of work; it's had a fantastic year. Yeah, Cole's. Uh, one of the premier left-handers in the game. Uh, he's got great stuff. We're gonna have our hands full with him. This guy, he's got, he's got big time, big time fastball, um, and he's tough to hit. So we're gonna have it's gonna be a challenge. You know, Brent, Brandon, you were preparing for two. You were prepared for two teams. One that you'd seen the previous two weekends, and this team that you haven't seen since April. How difficult is it to prepare for um, you know a team that's much different than it was when you saw it five months ago. Yeah, it's a little bit of a scramble. Um, to scramble for them too, right? They, they weren't sure who they were going to play. And that's part of postseason baseball sometimes is that uh, the season's over and then you you gear up quickly for, for the for the opponent. And, and um, yeah, we haven't seen Kansas City in a, feels like a, a long time. Um, congratulations to them on having an, an incredible year. And Matt and his, his group, it's a lot, it's a, 
great coaching staff and a really, really good team. And I'm happy for Matt and, and that group because, um, you know, they've gone through some things that had a tough year last year and the, the rebuild and everything. They've done an amazing job over there. So um, we're scrambling right now and preparing as well as we possibly can and looking forward to tomorrow. Um, well, they have, you know, they have a Hall of Fame player, um, and one of the best players in the game, right, hitting right in the middle of their order. They're, they, they did a great job this off season of of um, combining their their youth and their talent with some awesome veteran guys. And we know one of them over there in Adam, um, but they're starting pitching. They did. You know, it's a it's a really nice combination of, of youth and and uh, and veteran guys. Yeah, no, I thought they played. All three played well on the on the road trip, and yeah, I think going into the trip, I wasn't quite sure how. Uh, just because they didn't have a ton of rehab at bats, how how they were going to play, and and. Um, right away, they all played. Uh, they all were playing great when they got here. So um, they made a huge impact in our lineup. Brandon, how confident are you that you can kind of control their running game a little bit? Yeah, well, uh, it's kind of pitcher dependent a little bit, but um, you know, uh, Burnsy the last few starts has done a great job. Um, you know, controlling the game, running game. But these guys are aggressive and they're going to run, and we know that. And we have to do a really good job of. Being able to mix up our looks and kind of in this in the era right now of, of, of a, not being able to do certain things on the mound to control the running game, um, you know we have to do a good job of of limiting as best we possibly can. Hey, Brandon, uh, to get into the postseason, I mean it's so difficult in this game. <laughs> going back to last year, it seemed so easy for you guys the whole season, the number one seed, then it was over so quickly. Mm -hmm. This year, do you sense? Yeah, it's just two totally different years, and next year is going to be totally different too. I mean, the seasons are long for a reason, and um, you know, last year there were so many things that went right throughout the regular season. And, you know, the, the one thing that went wrong was was Batista there at the end, but um, it feel like it felt like we were we won a lot of games. Um, that maybe we shouldn't at times. We had a lot of late inning comebacks. Uh, and this year was just a little bit more of a grind. We had way more injuries. We had guys go down. We had significant, you know, we had a big part of our rotation um, that we lost. You know, lost, we lost an all star third baseman for almost a half. Uh, so it was, there's a lot of things that we kind of we dealt with that we didn't have to deal with last year. I'm hoping it makes us tougher, honestly. I think that uh, the, the adversity that our guys went through this year. Um, is, you know, I think it's going to benefit. I hope it benefits this postseason. I think it's going to benefit these guys in the future. Um, and I think last year's experience of what that felt like at the end when we did have that, you know, this kind of fairy tale season and then just the, the quick, the quit exit. Um, I'm hoping that, that uh, these guys have still have that taste in their mouth and going, going into this postseason. I think they do. I think there's a lot of similarities. Um, they're two of the best players in the game, uh, but you know, Bobby's that's just like Gunner. It's just oozing with talent. <laughs> um, uh, just can do everything. Can do everything on the field, and can beat you single-handedly, and and uh, just like Gun can. So, um, you know, he's gonna he presents a, a huge problem. Um, plays a premium position like Gunner does, and and. Uh, it's two going to going to be two great players in this league going forward. Last year, you guys <coughs> ran into the start of what was a, ended up being a really good run by the ball game through October. Uh, pitching's changed so much. Playoff pitching's changed so much. But at the same time, like, what is the value of a, a tone setter, a, a guy who can fill out in, in game one in a series like this? Or yeah, we feel great about Corbin going game one. He's a, especially with what he's been doing in September. Um, he's had a heck of a year. 
uh, he's a guy that, that can beat anybody on any night. And to have a, have a guy like that um, with that kind of stuff, that kind of confidence, uh, you, you, Corbin Burns is pitching, you expect to win that night. And that's how our guys feel. I don't know. It's kind of a, you know, I, did that long layoff last year affect us? Maybe. Um, I think we ran into a team that was absolutely got scorching hot in Tampa and just continued it all through the World Series. Um, but for me, that's not really an excuse. You still got to still play in the game. I'm hoping that, you know, I thought we just played really, really well um, on that two two series trip. And I'm hoping that we can continue to carry that momentum into this series. Throughout the year, you have worked hard with bullpen rest to not pitch guys three days in a row. But this series, <coughs> three games, three days, would you be open to a, an adjustment there? Yes. Yeah, this is more of a sprint. This isn't, I'm not looking long term here. This is trying to win two of these three games. Um, yes and no. Um, obviously, we haven't seen them in five months, so um, it's going to be a little bit different looking team than we when we face them. Then, obviously, um, you play a hundred and something games since then. Team's identity is a little different, but um, for me, it's same process as usual. Going through my business of, of doing my homework and watching video and being prepared, and um, you know, be excited to get there tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, there's no secret that our second half wasn't what we wanted it to be. Um, you know, we, we I think we fought ourselves a, a lot the second half of, of playing good baseball and then kind of struggling for a little bit. So um, to kind of see how we played this last week was was good. Um, you know, we got the offense swinging the bat, um, pitching we threw the ball well. Um, you know, went in, into New York and took two or three there, and then and then won that last series um, in Minnesota. It's a it's a good momentum um, you know builder going into the postseason. Um, you know, we've, we've got a good baseball team, and we show that in the first half, and um, hopefully this last week of, of what we did is a good, uh, good builder into the postseason. Corbin, you, you rebounded from August and, and had a bunch of lost starts last month. How much did reaching the postseason feel like a deadline to kind of get right and, and have your own performance at a, a postseason level? You know, there's not really a deadline of anything. Uh, whenever you have a bad one, you want to come back and have a good one. Um, August, we didn't do that very much, so... Um, just to, to you know, make some changes, get to where we wanted to be in September, um, regardless of how many starts it was. Um, it was more just about making good pitches and executing pitches, and um, I mean, we did that for the month of September. So it's it's good, uh, a good you know, good building ground to get into the the postseason of what could be a long month. Um, so, you know, pitches wise, mechanics wise, um, body feels great. We're in we're in a good spot. Yeah, I mean, it's an honor. Um, you know, like I say, to, to get the ball opening day, to get the ball game one of the postseason, um, not many guys get to do that in their career. Um, you know, I've, I've been fortunate to do it a couple times and, and to do it in my first year here in, in Baltimore special as well. Uh, this is a great group of guys, and, um, you know, they, they accept me from, accepted me from day one when I came in, like I was part of the family and, and uh, had a great spring training, great year. Um, you know, so it's a credit to those guys for, for accepting me as quickly as they did and, and you know, meshing in that clubhouse the way we did. And, um, yeah, just excited to go out and, and take the ball and, and, and lead the charge for these guys. Corbin, what's the biggest challenge maybe going from this, this big picture, six-month-long grind to see this is it's two out of three right now, and that is three out of five. To flip that switch mentally, what's the biggest challenge? Yeah, when, you, when you're looking at the, the full 162-game season, um, you're, you're kind of looking at the long haul of it. Um, you know, you, as a team, you can have a bad month and come back and have a good month, and you know you haven't lost any ground. So, um, postseason different. You, you got you got to take one win at a time. Um, 
you, a lot of times you can't move on to the next day unless you win the day before. So um, postseason baseball is, is, is a different monster, um, knowing that this wild card sets the best of three. You, you win, it's, it's important to win game one tomorrow so that you can win game two and get the extra off day and, and set things up into the DS. So, um, yeah, it's just different. You, you can't look to the long haul. You, you're looking one day at a time. Um, you always say that in season, hey, one day at a time. But in the back of your mind, you're always looking at, hey, this it's May. You know, we got to make sure we're ready for August, September, October. So um, we're here. We're in October. It's time to go. So we got to come out and we got to play good baseball tomorrow. For me, I try to treat it as every starts the same. Um, spring training, opening day, a start in June, one of the bad ones in August. You know, they're all the same. You know, for for me, the way I go prepare uh, my five or six day plan is about the same, just about every time. Um, a lot of guys would say it's pretty boring, but for me, that's it's what it takes to to get out on the mound and, and be fully prepared. Um, so that you know, I've got my video done. I've I've done game planning. Everything I've done. Um, in the five days leading up to it, I can go out there and just focus on executing pitches and attacking the game plan and getting out. So um, for me, the way I look at the, the start tomorrow is I've gone through the same four days I had la the last six months of the season. So um, I'll be prepared when I go out there tomorrow and go out and have fun. None. Um, I'm, I'm only one person. I can only go out there and do my job. Um, I've I've kind of preached that all year when we've had guys guys go down. That at, at that point, it's the next guy and step you know steps up and, and fills those shoes. Um, those of us that are healthy, we can't throw more innings. We can't make more starts. We can't try to do things to to make up for guys that go down. So that's always been my mindset of, hey, these guys brought me in. I'm still one person. I'm gonna go out there and, and give them my all every day, and um, we'll see where we end up. And um, being healthy and you know making 30 plus starts is kind of my goal every year and i know that when i'm on the field i can help a team a lot more than when i'm on the il so i take take pride in taking care of the body and knowing that when i get out there um usually good things happen yeah we made a couple of mechanical tweaks um change the shape of the cutter a little bit um it's no secret that the the cutter kind of kind of drives my my game um we made some good changes and, and we did pretty good with it. And obviously the, the results of it showed pretty well in September. So we're in a good spot. Corbin, could you talk a little bit about how you emphasize controlling the running game over the last seven to 10 starts? Um, yeah, you know, early on, we mechanics were a little bit different. Um, a lot longer, slower to the plate, um, trying to you know, emphasize some other parts of the game. Um, when we kind of made the mechanical tweaks um, there beginning of September, um, kind of went back to what we did in 21 and 22, which was, you know, you know makes me a little bit shorter of the plate, makes the leg get quicker and just makes the times a lot quicker of the plate and, um, kind of takes care of itself in, in that regard. But, um, you know, still, we did a lot of work behind the scenes as far as, you know, holding holds and some mixing some different types of picks and stuff. But, um, yeah, just the mechanical changes going back to what I did in 21, um, fixed a lot of that issue. Yeah, postseason games. Um, obviously, the atmosphere is a lot different. Um, you know, the crowd's going to be in every single pitch that you know they might be in a regular season game once a week or so. Um, in the postseason, you know, the momentum is huge, um, and that's something you can feel whether it's the first inning, whether it's the sixth inning, whether it's the ninth inning. Um, so the the postseason game isn't necessarily about going out there and and trying to score the most runs. It's more about controlling the momentum. Um, if you have the momentum on your side, then um, chances are you're going to win that baseball game. Um, so you can feel that as a player. Um, obviously, there's going to be more adrenaline. Um, games mean a lot more. So just being in that atmosphere before, going through it a bunch of times, um, you, know, you, you kind of learn ways to, to slow the game down a little bit, um, which I'm excited to you know, kind of see some of the young, young guys that we have that maybe only have the three games of post postseason experience from last year or you know, first year playing in the postseason this year. Um, just talking to them and saying, like, hey, this, you're still playing baseball. You know, a lot of guys try to make it bigger than it is. 
Um, it's still a baseball game. You still got to go out there. You got to get 27 outs, and you got to score as many runs as possible. So um, I'm excited for it tomorrow, um, not only to pitch, but just to kind of see some of these guys in the atmosphere. Not much. Um, you know, a lot of the five and, and you know, my, my routine mostly has to do with getting the body ready, um, you know, workouts, um, treatments, that kind of stuff. Um, had to cram a little bit with, the, you know, with the, the video. Usually I'll, I'll spread it out over two or three days um, as far as the game plan goes. So really had, you know, a day and a half to get it done. You know, I'll, I'll finish that up today. But, um, yeah, not, not all that different. Um, usually you do it at the field. Right, you know, I'll go home and finish a little bit tonight, which isn't that big a deal. But um, yeah, most of that routine is is just more about getting the body ready, um, getting the mind ready, and just making sure that it's the same and consistent each time. You mentioned the tweaks you made on the on the cutter. Um, was that made one of the best cutters of the year you had in New York? And are you excited about where that pitch is as tomorrow arrives? I would say the month of August was was good. Um, you know, it's it's hard to discredit the two we had against Detroit. <laughs> before that and um but yeah i mean the, the cutter's in a great spot you know when when i can go out and command it um obviously that's what i do you know when i can can command the cutter and you know, kind of throw everything else off of it um i tend to tend to have pretty good results off of that so um we, we were able to make that change in september and um but i think we had five starts in september they were they were all pretty good Yeah, uh, just got to go out there and continue to, uh, whoever shows up, just go out there and continue to play our game. Um, didn't really, we weren't too worried about um, just like who it would be in the sense. Just got to know that we got to go out there and continue to play. It's postseason, so anything can happen. And uh, they're two outstanding teams, so we're just going out there and trying to play the best ball that we can play. Yeah, um, definitely learned on some of the, the bad experiences that we had there uh, last year in the postseason. Uh, kind of used it to fuel us this year and uh, give us the, the kick that we need to push through and hopefully make a good run this year. Yeah, uh, I feel really good uh, for this point in the year. Uh, body feels really well. I feel like um, just the, the staff, the training staff and the weight room um, coaches have helped me um, get my body ready and keep it uh, healthy throughout the year. And I feel like uh, that's the biggest thing is just taking care of it early to help in this point in the year. Yeah, uh, earlier in the year, we uh, we had a chance to catch up. And then uh, obviously at the All-Star game, we had a chance to talk and stuff. So um, it's cool kind of having a guy that you've played with uh, throughout the high school circuits and stuff and even into pro ball. It's uh, cool having a guy that you can kind of keep up with. And um, yeah, it's fun watching him out there. Remember the first time you played against him? Um, I guess it was in the big leagues. Okay. Yeah, because we always played on the same side because we're in relatively the same region in uh, high school stuff. Gunnar, was getting back Mount Castle and Westburg and Urias something you guys tangibly felt or just made the team better? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've had them up the whole year, and then uh, obviously it doesn't, doesn't help when all three of them go down, but uh, being able to get them back and help us in this uh, postseason push was awesome. And just uh, it also got the guys that uh, we're going to need on the bench to get some good experiences as well because postseason is going to take every guy on the roster. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do. Gunner, you spent your impression coming into the year, Corbin Burns, and how much has he lived up to it as the guy who was your opening day starter and now your starter here right next to him? Yeah, uh, it's been awesome being able to watch him. Um, I mean, being able to watch it from up the middle and uh, just kind of see how his stuff moves and uh, – how he attacks hitters has been really awesome to watch and uh, really looking forward to him in the postseason atmosphere. To the extent you've seen Bobby kind of grow as a player and get a little better, does it kind of just feel like he's scratching the surface and you know, as a guy with a ceiling of certain things to kind of, kind of hit range? 
yeah, he seems like he's progressed uh, each and every year that he's played, and it seems like he's only getting better. So it's uh, really fun to watch and um, really fun to follow him. Yeah, I mean, the offense started clicking and the pitchers have been throwing it really well. And, uh, yeah, I felt like it's uh, setting us up to get going. And it uh, seems like we've been putting up a decent amount of runs the past week. And, um, yeah, hopefully it's setting us up for a good run. Gunner, Gunner uh, Brandon was talking about the second half struggles and how you can kind of hope that you guys are tougher um, because of them. Do you feel that way with any of the guys? I know you come in with more experience from the postseason last year, but do you feel different? Yeah, I mean, last year we obviously uh, through the regular season didn't get swept, so there wasn't much uh, going against us at that point. And then this year, obviously, we uh, had a little bit of struggle the second half, so uh, I felt like we learned how to go through it earlier and became uh, a little bit more battle tested in that sense. So uh, I feel like it's going to help us in this uh, in this aspect of the game, and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like it's just a testament to the guys that we have in the clubhouse. I mean, nobody ever thought that we wouldn't get through it. It was just a matter of when. And, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's tough in time, especially because you keep playing every single day. And um, it does get tough at some points. But you just got to keep going out there and just keep fighting it until you uh, push through. Yeah, um, it's definitely a good learning experience for this early stages in, I know, my career specifically, but uh, for a lot of the guys who are just starting theirs as well. Is, uh, just, I mean, you just got to stick with it. You just got to continue to go out there and put in the work. Um, I mean, it gets repetitive some days, but you just got to go out there and uh, make the most out of each and every day. And uh, baseball is a weird game. All it takes is one swing or one pitch or one play. And uh, you just got to go out there and continue to play until it happens. Yeah, I mean, um, like I said, it, sometimes all, all it takes is one swing and uh, it can kind of get it, take all the pressure off people and just let us go out there and play freely. And uh, I felt like that was that was one of them. Uh, that was a big swing and a big win at that point in time. Gunner, do you let yourself daydream now about the, what you'll possibly create in the postseason where legacies are really cemented and as a young guy you're thinking about what the possibilities might be, do you let yourself go there? Uh, no, we just try to, I know as a team and as for myself, we just try to take it one day at a time, one pitch at a time. Uh, we just try to get out there and do the best we can with each and every day and um, try not to get too far ahead because you want to ultimately stay in the moment and be where you are, be where your feet are. And that's what I try to tell myself as well and just to not let things get too far ahead. Yeah, of course. I mean, um, watching him in the high school stuff, he was obviously uh, number one player in the country, and he he was that for a reason. Um, I mean, he did uh, a lot of things exceptionally well, and um, ultimately you're seeing him at the big league level as well.